Hello there, I'm Alicia Malone and you're watching TCM. This month we're taking a deep dive into the history of Warner Brothers in the 100th year of the studio, which includes celebrating all the actors they had under contract at one time or another. Because while MGM was more known for its stars, the list of Warner's actors is impressive, especially the women. Betty Davis reigned supreme, and there was also Olivia de Havilland, Anne Sheridan, Ida Lupino, Doris Day, Lauren Bacall, Kay Francis, Joan Blondell, Jane Wyman, Ruby Keeler, Ginger Rogers, Joan Leslie, Priscilla Lane, and from 1943 until 1952, the one and only Joan Crawford. Crawford was savvy about the movie business, and in addition to her obvious talent and beauty, it was her intelligence about the industry that kept her a star for the many decades of her career. A perfect example of that is the way she took a leap of faith right in the middle of her stardom, leaving the security of the MGM lot where she'd been for 18 years and moving over to Warner Brothers. It was at Warner Brothers where Joan Crawford proved to the naysayers that she was not box office poison and not washed up at the age of 40. With her starring performance in Mildred Pierce and her subsequent Oscar win, Crawford clawed her way back up to the top without doing too much damage to her jungle red nails. And all throughout her time on the big screen, she reinvented her public image from 1920s silent actress and dancer to 1930s tough-talking working woman to starring in the film noirs of the 1940s, the melodramas of the 1950s, horror pictures in the 60s, and appearing on television in the 1970s. She also made the most of her private life, leveraging her relationships and family to keep her in the spotlight, a fascinating life, and that is exactly what we're about to explore in a documentary about Crawford, produced in 2002 by Turner Classic Movies, written and directed by Peter Fitzgerald, and featuring narration by Angelica Houston. Here is Joan Crawford, the ultimate movie star. So interesting to hear all of the different perspectives in Joan Crawford, the ultimate movie star, such as Diane Baker and Cliff Robertson talking about working with her, director Vincent Sherman revealing his thoughts on their affair, and the painful memories of her daughter Christina, which led to her memoir and its very memorable film adaptation. There's no doubt that Joan Crawford was a complicated woman, as well as being, as the title of our movie says, the ultimate movie star, with the role of Joan Crawford perhaps being her greatest performance. I mean, all of these years after she first appeared on screen, we're still talking about her and her remarkable career from MGM to Warner Brothers and beyond. Coming up after this break, we're taking a look at another of the great women of Warner Brothers. Our celebration of the 100th anniversary of the legendary studio continues with Lauren Bacall, who burst onto the screen with her first acting performance in a 1944 film noir directed by Howard Hawks and starring Humphrey Bogart. <laughs> 